here, Tasmanian devil. Grab hold of the stick. I don't think that's going to work, Kyle. Besides, that looks dangerous. Just a little more. Ah! Look at this mess. We should put these tools away, Leo. Sure, Katie. How did that get in there? Whoa! That's not a bone, Hero. Hey! Hero, no! Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. How are you today? Back, Hero. Hi, Leo. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just so tired. I was sleeping in a tree in the Tasmanian forest, but there was a high-pitched screech coming from somewhere. And now all the animals are stressed and jumpy. Did you say a loud, high-pitched screech? Yeah, I'm calling because I can't tell which animal made the screech. And I can't locate it either, because it's coming from all directions. That's strange. It stopped for a while, but I'm worried, Leo. Can you help me identify the animal? I'll send you a recording of it. Aha! Got it! What was that sound, Leo? That screech was heard in the Tasmanian forest last night. Kyle is unsure which animal it comes from. I can run the recording through the computer to find out more. Awesome. Let's see what animal the screech belongs to. There. The screech belongs to a Tasmanian devil. That's a scary name for an animal that looks so cute. Well, they're not exactly cute and cuddly, Leo. Tasmanian devils are easily angered when they're threatened or when fighting for food. They'll show their teeth and growl, making the sound we just heard. The Tasmanian devil might be in trouble. That could be a cry for help. In that case, Katie, we should go check it out. Hi, Kyle. Are you feeling better? Yeah, I splashed some water on my face and I feel more awake now. Did you find anything? Guess what? The screech belongs to a Tasmanian devil. We think it could be in trouble. We'll be coming over to Tasmania to find it. Hey, guys. Welcome to Tasmania. Hi, Kyle. The screeching has stopped for a while now, so maybe the Tasmanian devil left. I'll scan the area using my audio frequency sensor. Found it. Good job, Katie. Let's head over there right now. It's coming from over there. Careful, Katie, watch out! <gasps> Thanks, Leo. Look, it's the Tasmanian Devil. Wow, that's deep. The Tasmanian Devil is trapped. That must be why he was calling out all night. We have to help get him out. Hmm, there has to be a way. Ah, that might work. Here, Tasmanian Devil, grab hold of the stick. I don't think that's going to work, Kyle. Besides, that looks dangerous. Just a little more. Ah! Gotcha. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Thank you for saving me, Ranger Rocky. You have to be more careful, Junior Ranger. Look. Whoa. Yep. That's a Tasmanian Devil, all right. Tasmanian devils have powerful jaws with sharp teeth. They have an extremely strong bite. In fact, it is so strong that it's able to bite through metal wires. Tasmanian devils are also known to eat a lot. They especially love to eat meat. It would be wise not to get too close to a Tasmanian devil. So we have to get the Tasmanian devil out, but we can't get too close to him. And Ranger Rocky mentioned that they eat a lot. I got it. We can put some food in the cage and lower it to lure the Tasmanian Devil in. Then we close the door with the remote and transport him back to his home. Great idea, Leo. Does anybody have any food? I've got some meat pies in my ATV. Meat, meat pies? pies? Yeah, it's for when I stay over in the bush. Mm, mm. 
A little more to the left. You're nearly there. Touchdown! All clear! It's working! He's going in! Huh? Why won't it shut? What's going on, Katie? He's almost done eating the meat pies. Huh? What's that? Oh, it's Hero Saliva from this morning. That's why the remote is acting funny. Got it. Oh, no! I'm too late! It's okay, Katie. We can try again with another meat pie. But we don't have any left. Ranger Rocky, do you have any meat pies left? Sorry, Leo. I'm all out. Kyle? Mm. Nope. No, Hero, don't eat that. We need that meat pie to save the Tasmanian Devil. Hero, no. Hero's not eating it. He's helping us. Quick, Katie, open the cage door. Good job, Hero. Yes, we did it! <laughs> I guess that's his way of saying thanks. You're welcome! I'm glad we managed to save the Tasmanian Devil and return him to his home. I think we should go back, Pico. Whoa! Oh, oh no, oh no! Pico, we're stuck! <gasps> Hi, Junior Ranger Pale. What's going on? Hi, Leo. I'm stuck in the middle of a river, and there's a giant monster fish in the water. A giant monster fish? Yeah. Here's a picture of it. <gasps> Whoa. It does look scary. I don't know, Leo. We can't see it clearly. Let's clean up the image on the computer. Good idea, Katie. I'm right behind you. Let's see. Enhancing image, and there! Ooh, it's just a bunch of small fishes. There's no giant river monster at all. You can jump into the water and swim to shore, Peo. Oh, no river monster, huh? Okay then, I can swim to the shore. Thanks, Leo. Hmm, I wonder what type of fishes they are. The fishes in the water are red-bellied piranhas. <gasps> they have razor-sharp teeth and powerful jaws that enable them to bite down with great force. Oh, no! Peo, get out of the water! Huh? What? Oh, I haven't jumped in yet. Okay, that's good. Because red-bellied piranhas swim and hunt in groups called a shoal, which can include more than a hundred piranhas. More than a hundred? That's a lot. Oh, no! Please come get me. Of course, Peo. Stay put and we'll be right over. Thanks, Leo. See you soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. Come on, Katie. Let's go save Peo from piranha-infested waters. Peo, Pico, we're here. Leo, Katie, I'm so glad you found us. Good to see you, Peo. Reach for my hand and climb aboard. <gasps> What's that? Whoa! You pale. Phew! I'm okay. That was close. What is it, Hero? <gasps> There's a piranha on your back, Pale! Ah, get off my back! Shoot! Ah. Leo, it's over there! Get it! Get it! I know! I'm trying to grab it! Come here, piranha! Pale, stop! You can't use your bare hands! You. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Ah, get away from me. I'll get it. Ugh. Watch out, hero. <laughs> oh, no. Hero. Is it gone? I think so. Hero, are you okay? <laughs> that was scary. Huh? What's that sound? Is it a snake? No, it's worse! Platypus One is sinking! We're sinking! Ah! Oh no! What should we do? Quick, Leo! Activate submarine mode! Right! I'm on it! Platypus One, activate! really 
see where we're going. The water's so murky. Switch on the lights, Leo. Oh, right. Uh-oh. Yikes! The piranhas are following us! Ah! Let's use flight mode. They can't follow us if we're in the air. Flight mode, activate. Huh? Uh, it's not working. Oh, no! Platypus One must still be broken. Come on, come on, work! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no! What's happening? Ah! Ah! I can't control it! I don't want to die! Ah! 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 It's coming for us! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! <sighs> what a ride! What is it, Hero? Whoa! Piranha! Oh, 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 no! Not again! Stand back, Junior Rangers! Ranger Rocky! I got it! Back into the water you go! Thanks, Ranger Rocky! I thought we'll get attacked by the piranha for sure! Actually, piranhas are not as scary as you may think, Junior Rangers. Red-bellied piranhas have a reputation for being aggressive and fearsome. But that's not exactly true. If we don't mess with them, they tend to leave people alone. In fact, red-bellied piranhas usually eat prey that are already dead. While it's an advantage to hunt in packs, this behavior of traveling in groups is actually due to their fear of predators. I guess we just have to be careful around the red-bellied piranhas. That's right. Stay away and don't provoke them. Since there is no ferocious river monster, can we go home now? I'm really tired. Sure, Peo. But first, we need to fix Platypus One. It's been acting up all day. I can help with that, Junior Rangers. Leave it to me. There. This should be enough to get you home. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. All right, Junior Rangers. I've got to collect more animal droppings for my research. See you around. Goodbye, Goodbye Ranger Rocky. Rocky. See ya. Bye-bye. What a day. Let's go home. Okie dokie. Platypus One, activate. It's nice to know that there are no river monsters here. A lion. It needs help. Let's go check it out. It is coming from inside. <gasps> Are you all right? It is trapped. Do not worry. We will get you out of there. We better call Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. Hi, Leo. I found a lion trapped in a cave. <gasps> a lion? Is it hurt? It is fine, but I do not know how to get it out. Have a look at this photo. Whoa, the mighty king of the jungle. Hang tight, Jane. We'll be right over to help. Okay, I will send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. I can't wait to meet a lion up close. Me too, Leo. I'm sure the computer can tell us more about them. There it is, the African lion. Oh, it seems the lion Jean found is actually a lioness, a female lion. Typically, male lions have manes, while female lions don't. Lions might be known as the king of the jungle, but most lions actually live in the savannas or grasslands. Lions are the only cats that live in groups called prides. A pride can have 2 to 40 lions and is made up of 3 or 4 male lions, dozens of lionesses, and their cubs. A lion's mighty roar is used to communicate with one another. It's so powerful that it can be heard as far as eight kilometers away. That's about the length of 80 football fields. Rawr! 
<laughs> I think you can do better, Leo. Well, practice makes perfect. But we've got a lioness to save. Let's go. Hi, Jane. Oh, hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Have a look up here. Whoa. Don't worry. We'll get you out. How are we going to move the boulder? It looks like a job for Platypus One. What was that? More lions. They are coming our way. I see them. They must have heard the lioness. I think they are part of her pride. It's dangerous for us to stay here. Everyone, get in. <laughs> Let's move away first. It looks like the other lions don't know what to do. We just have to lure them away. That's a good point, Katie. But how? Hmm, I wonder. Aha! Did you guys know that cheetahs can run faster than lions? Zumi is very fast. That's it! Zumi can help lure the lions away while we remove the boulder! It sounds like a good plan! Stop right there! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! How long have you been on that boulder? Long enough to listen to your plan. It is way too dangerous! In a pride, lionesses do most of the hunting, while male lions help keep the pride safe. With their big, sharp teeth, they're not to be messed with. Zumi could be in great danger. Sorry, Zumi. Hmm, did the lioness fall into the cave while hunting for food, Ranger Rocky? Actually, they give birth to cubs in a secluded den like a cave, usually away from their pride. <gasps> so it's likely that she gave birth in the cave and got trapped inside. There could be newborn cubs in there. We need to hurry, Rangers. Those big cats sure are a handful. Cats. I got it! But I'll need your help, Ranger Rocky. At your service, Leo. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah, that's it. Lions are really just big cats. Come on, over here. Now, go, go, go! No, no, no. Bad kitty. All done. <gasps> Zumi! Oh no! Jetpack activate! Zumi! I am coming for you! It's too dangerous! No! Zumi! Huh? <sighs> <laughs> the lioness thinks Zumi is a cub. All right, stand clear. We did it! Woohoo! Zumi, you scared me back there. Watch out, Leo. The other lions are heading back to the cave now. Then we better get out of here. Bye, lioness! Bye, baby cubs! Mission accomplished! You can do this, Pello! Just a little more! Whoa! Phew! Got it! Now to get down from here! Hmm. You know, Pico. Some of these vines look and feel kind of funny. See? This one almost looks like a... <gasps> snake! And a big one, too! I've got to get down! Ranger Leo speaking. Huh? Pico, is that you? Where's Peo? What's going on, Leo? I'm not sure, Katie. It's Pico. Pico? Wait, do you hear that? It sounds like somebody's talking. 
Huh? Something's not right. Send me the video, Leo. I'll see if I can isolate the voice and amplify its volume. Sure thing, Katie. And... Done! Pico, tell them that I'm stuck in a tree. And there's a big green snake right in front of me. I can't get down. Uh-oh. If we zoom in and unblur it... <gasps> Peo! Green snake. Hmm, they're not that big. Can we look at the video again? Some of the vines look a little funny. Just have to do a quick scan. <gasps> a green anaconda? Oh, no! Peo is stuck in a tree with an anaconda. We've got to get him down quick. We can find out more information about the animal on the way there. Let's see. The green anaconda is the world's largest snake. Anacondas are constrictors. They coil themselves around their prey and squeeze them. With their stretchy jaws, anacondas open their mouths wide to swallow their prey whole. Once they've eaten a big meal, they can go for weeks or months without food. Oh boy, we'd better hurry. Look, it's Peo's bag. Pico! Where's Peo? Is he okay? Over here! I'm over here! Whoa, it's huge! Yeep. Don't worry, Peo, we'll get you down. Jetpack, Jetpack activate. activate! Here you go, Peo. Thanks, Leo. Now grab hold of us. Oh, no! Oh, oh, never mind me. Just take this somewhere safe. We mustn't let anything happen to the flower. <gasps> oh, no! Don't worry, Peo. I'll get it. And I'll find a way to get you down. We leave no rangers behind. Huh? Oh! Well, that was easy. Where's it going? Oh, no! Guys! No! Not the bug! Now we'll never get the flower back! Hang on, Peo. Let's get you down first. Huh? Pico! No! You'll get hurt! No, hero! Hero! The anaconda's way too strong for them. Katie, help me grab its tail. Stop right there. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Back away from the tail. What you're about to do is very dangerous. Tangling with an anaconda is a dangerous thing to do. Anacondas are big and strong, but they usually only attack humans when they feel threatened. If you mess around with its tail, it might see that as a threat. Green anacondas may move slowly on land, but they're great in water. They're fast swimmers, and because their eyes and nostrils are on the top of their heads, they can breathe and see even when most of their body is underwater. What do we do then, Ranger Rocky? We have to get my bag. No worries, Peo. I'll take it from here. Leave this to the experts, children. <laughs> What's he going to do? I have no idea, but I'm sure Ranger Rocky has an awesome plan. Now, now. I don't want any trouble, but I'm going to need that bag. Oh, no, you don't. Calm down now. <gasps> It's constricting him! Are you sure you don't need us to do anything, Ranger Rocky? <clears throat> nope. I have it all under control. Aha! Catch! My bag! Phew, it's all right. It's getting kind of squeezy. Time to get out of here. Be back in a second, Junior Rangers. Oh! Ranger Rocky! Oh, no! Ranger Rocky! Ah! Ah! Ranger Rocky, you're okay! I sure am! That was amazing! But weren't you scared of the anaconda, Ranger Rocky? It's huge! There was no need to be scared. Anacondas are not out to hurt people. The anaconda was just defending itself. Ranger Rocky is right. We're the ones who entered its home. Well, I've learned my lesson. Never approach or provoke an anaconda when you see one. Always 
check a tree before you climb it. You never know what's living in there. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, Leo. There, all done. Huh? Why did it fly away? Is there something wrong with our birdhouse? I thought birds like birdhouses. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. What's up? Hi, Leo. I'm at the Komodo National Park, and I found the most amazing thing ever. What did you find, Farah? An egg. Huh? An egg? Here's a photo of it. Do you know which bird laid the egg? Hmm. It looks like a chicken egg. But I compared it with photos in my handbook, and the egg I found is different. It's bigger than a chicken egg. How exciting! I'm sure we can find out more on the computer. Let's see what type of bird laid the egg. That's not a bird at all. It's the egg of a Komodo dragon. A dragon? Farah found a dragon egg? It's not really a dragon, Leo. Komodo dragons are the largest lizards in the world. They can be found on the many islands in Komodo National Park in Indonesia. Komodo dragons lay about 30 eggs in their nests. But I only found one egg. And it was on the ground with no nest in sight. Oh, no. Was the egg separated from its nest? <gasps> We have to return it. Don't worry, Farah. We'll be right over to help. Okay, see you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. All right, let's return the Komodo dragon's egg to its nest. It'll be exciting to visit an island full of dragons. Hi, Farah. Hi, Farah. <laughs> Hi, guys. Huh? Uh-oh, something's happening. <gasps> it hatched. Aw, it's so cute. Hello, baby Komodo dragon. I'm sure its mother will be looking for it. We have to find its nest quick. Huh? What's wrong, hero? Whoa, a dragon. A Komodo dragon. Is that its mother? Let's take the baby over to her. Stop. I would not do that if I were you. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. My, my, that is one cute baby lizard. Why did you stop me from returning the baby Komodo dragon, Ranger Rocky? We do not know for sure if that adult Komodo dragon is its mom. Besides, Komodo dragons do not take care of their young. In fact, Adult Komodo dragons are often a danger to young Komodo dragons. Adult Komodo dragons are also venomous. You should be careful not to get bitten. If you do, you should see a doctor and get medical attention right away. It looks like it's up to us to find a home for the baby Komodo dragon. Let's take it away before the adult sees us. <sighs> Too late! Now there were three of them! And they're coming right for us! Oh no! Hurry, Junior Rangers! Take the baby and go! I'll distract them! Got it, Ranger Rocky! Easy. Easy. This must be Pink Beach! It says here that the pink color comes from small bits of broken pink and red coral. When mixed with the white sand, the beach looks pink. It's really beautiful here. But is it the right place for the baby Komodo dragon? It seems safe and warm enough, but I don't think there's anything for it to eat. We'll have to find a better spot then. At least Hero's having fun with our new friend. <laughs> Where's the baby Komodo dragon? I'll find it. Where is it? Aha! Found it! It's over there! Komodo dragons are strong swimmers. They can even swim between the different islands in the park. I guess there's nothing to worry about. The baby Komodo dragon can swim back to us. But I don't think the baby is very good at swimming yet. Huh? 
What's that? Oh no, not another one. Hero, you save the baby. I'll distract the big one. Jetpack, activate. Wait, it's too dangerous. Be careful, you two. Look over here! We got them, Leo! Go fetch! Phew, that was close. That was a very dangerous thing to do, Leo. According to our Junior Rangers pledge, I will wait for assistance from a fellow Ranger when there's danger. Well, my fellow ranger, Hero was assisting me. Uh, I'm just glad everyone is all right. Now we just need to find a safe place for our little friend here. I found this place while scouting the island. There are plenty of trees around and it's really peaceful here. Best of all, there are insects in the trees. What do you think, Hero? Will this be a good place for our new friend? The baby Komodo dragon seems to like the tree. I think our new friend will be very happy here. We did it! We brought the baby Komodo dragon to safety. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.